But then the question comes, and this is what Pope Francis is mentioning, they deserve love too? The love of this dunya that you're going to sacrifice your entire hair after? For the love of someone that you might divorce. Look at the divorce rates here in the countries, man. For the love of someone, for, for loving them, you're going to sacrifice your entire hair after? What is Pope Francis going on about? What are we going on about? Seriously. Pope Francis waters down the religion like a lot of us do sometimes. Just so people could accept it or listen to us. Instead of actually just holding people accountable and like helping people raise their imans. Because that's what the real solution is, right? Life as Q, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so grateful, thankful, and humbled that you decided to spend some of your time here with me today. Pope Francis legalizes gay marriage. This is a big deal, bigger than you and I would actually really imagine or actually are even uh, making it to be. It seems like back-to-back -back days I've been making content about LGBTQ community. Uh, take a look at this video right over here so you can see what I'm talking about. That's yesterday's video. Um, and it's funny, I made that video and then all of a sudden my YouTube news recommendations, it says, breaking news, Pope Francis, right? If you don't know who Pope Francis is, read a book or something like come on right um <laughs> he legalized gay marriage and you know li listen to the intention of why right uh the main intention is that he doesn't want people to be committing like adultery meaning he doesn't want people to be having illicit relations with people and be together unless they're married so what he decided to do his his intention uh was to legalize the marriages so that they're not committing another sin on top of that so like to lower the sin it's just like he he wanted so that so that they're not committing two sins they're only committing one sin to some degree and uh, his other reasoning was that you know even those who are gay they deserve to be in a loving marriage or they deserve to have love now uh, pope francis is not new to scrutiny he's not new to um you know coming up with these uh, some would say liberal ideas um as some, i mean it's not really a, uh, it's not quote unquote liberal it is a liberal idea but i don't think it's a liberal idea i think it's a deviated idea you see a lot of times Sometimes people like to just categorize things. Are you a liberal on the left or are you conservative on the right? Which one are you? Liberal, conservative. Maybe you hear the... And, and even Muslims amongst us, we do this amongst us, not the game, mashallah. Um, but amongst each other, we do this too, right? Oh, they're liberal. They're from that institute. They're liberals. Oh, they're conservative. They're from that institute over here. Let's come back to the guidance of Allah, the Quran and the Sunnah. Let's just come back to that and stop labeling people and, you know, like projecting our own hatred onto other people. Okay, so let's just relax. It's not that he is liberal. What Pope Francis is doing right now is that he's deviating from the actual text that they even follow, right? Uh, because for, for so many long, we all know that the three monotheistic religions, the main religions of the world, uh, Judaism, uh, Islam, Christianity, uh, we're all in consensus that the act of homosexuality is an abomination. This is in consensus to that, right? Um, and it's interesting that because because the students, the people, right, were unable to reach the bar. Instead of helping people reach the bar, the standard, we lowered the standard for them instead, right? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has set certain standards and guidelines like right up here, right? And we look, we all strive to reach those standards and a lot of us are going to fall short. A lot of us are going to fall short of reaching those standards, but that doesn't mean we, we stop reaching those standards or we water down the standards so that we can reach it. Instead, what we need to do to help each other out is help each other raise the ground so we can meet those standards. You understand? So instead of watering down our religions, our belief systems, instead of watering down so we bring down the standard, instead we raise people's imans, their God consciousness, so that they can meet those standards. Are they going to meet it tomorrow? Probably not. But maybe someday they will. But the goal of this life is to strive to meet those standards. How many of us have desires that goes against the deen of Allah? Be honest. How many of us have things that we would love to do? If it wasn't for Islam, we would be doing it. So many of us would have maybe wanted to have a drink by now. Maybe even have some tattoos. It's the fear and the consciousness and the, the tawakkul of meeting Allah Azza wa Jal that stops us from doing it. Sah, right? Isn't that true? Isn't that true? It's really the fear and the consciousness and the love that we have from Allah, for Allah, excuse me, that, that stops us from really just submitting and following our desires.
right? And that is rewardable. The fact that we're striving to meet Allah's expectations and His standards is rewardable. The fact that we suppress our desires, we have the same desires as anyone else does, right? We want to do the same thing that anyone else does, right? People are like, oh, they want to sleep around with people. Why not us, huh? But we don't for the fear of Allah, for the sake of Allah, for the love and reverence that we have for Allah, Azawajal, okay? Because the moment we start uh, like listening to our whims and desires and just following whatever we want to do, we become an animal. Isn't that true, right? A lion, well, well a, a lioness, right? Because she does all the hunting, the lion just eats, right? The lioness wouldn't stop hunting until they find food. They can't have a psalm. They can't fast. Lions don't fast. We can fast. We can choose not to eat. They got to eat. You understand? If they have to have sex, they'll just have sex in, in the public. They don't, they don't go to a private corner. They just, they're, you'd be seen on, the, on National Geographic, they're just humping each other. That's it, right? They're animals. That's what they do. They're lower level intelligence beings. They're, they're not human beings. They're just beings. You know what I mean? They're, they're, they don't have any sense. What makes us above animals is the ability to control our nafs and not act upon our nafs. I hope you're following this. Um, Amongst the Muslim community, there's a lot of us who just see homosexuals and we're like, ah, that's wrong. It's wrong. It's haram. It's this. It's this. It's this. It's this. It's this. All those reactions, all those things what we're doing right now, those are reactions and not responses. You see, Pope Francis thinks that he's responding to the crisis in the world. He sees the crisis. Hence, he's responding. He thinks he's responding to the crisis. But the truth is that he's selling out to the crisis. He's lowering his standards to the crisis. Instead of helping people raise their imams, what's the real issue? Is the goal? What is the goal? Is the goal to make people straight? Because that's what the Catholic Church was trying to do for the longest, right? They were trying to make these straight camps. Those are real things. Straight camps, forcing people to be straight, get them married. How many of the Muslims just think that, no, 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 no. You're not really born gay. That's all false. That's all made from society. That's all made from da, 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 da. You just need to get married. You need ruqiyah done. You think that's the solution? You've, yes, I do agree. To some degree, it is popularized and it is mainstreamed enough that it makes people think that the in thing to do is be gay. But like for those who are actually gay, I'm telling you, man, like they like they live within themselves. They die each day. They're dying each day within themselves because they can't be who they are. And they think that what they're missing in their life is announcing or owning their sexuality. But that's truly not it. It's the connection and reverence and love of Allah that is at, that every heart is missing, not just their hearts. Every heart is missing at this point, okay? So a lot of us think that the solution is to make people straight. That's not the solution. The solution is to help people develop more... <laughs> the solution is to help people develop more consciousness of Allah. Taqwa is the key. That, there's no... What is the solution? To make people straight? What? For what? If a person is identifying themselves that they are attracted to the same gender, why are we being so, you know, like reactive? And trying to like get them out of it. Okay, let's be proactive a little bit. Okay, you're excited to the same gender. Okay, but do you have to act upon it? But then the question comes, and this is what Pope Francis is mentioning, they deserve love too. The love of this dunya that you're going to sacrifice your entire hair after for the love of someone that you might divorce. Look at the divorce rates here in the countries, man. For the love of someone... For, for loving them, you're going to sacrifice your entire hair after? What is Pope Francis going on about? What are we going on about? Seriously. For the love of the dunya, for the love of being with someone for 15, 20 years, what's the maximum amount of years you're going to be with someone? Tell me. 30? Okay. For 30 years of your life with a partner, committing acts that are displeasing to Allah, you're going to sacrifice your hair after in which everything is halal for you? Think about that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing you if you're someone who has homosexual urges or you have someone who is identified to be homosexual. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing you to elevate you. Not everyone is tested with this. And each time that you are, you know, suppressing or holding down your desire just so that you can please your Rabb, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is rewarding you for that. That is your, your, your key and your ticket to paradise. This is the way and the method that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted you to get to paradise, right? Everyone has a different way or roadmap to get to paradise. But the, but the map is always the same. Like your, your, your route to get there might be different, but the map is the same. And that is the Quran and the Sunnah. There's no other way to get there besides following the teachings of Allah. It's from his kitab, from the Quran, and from the Messenger Sallallahu It's really simple. So what happens is that Pope Francis waters down the religion, like a lot of us do sometimes, just so people could accept it or listen to us, instead of actually just 
holding people accountable and like helping people raise their imans because that's what the real solution is, right? Is the solution for me to find a loophole to get more tattoos? Is the solution for me to find a loophole to, you know, uh, sleep around with girls? Is the, is the loophole for me to find a way so I can drink alcohol? Like, are we looking for loopholes to just act on our desires? Or are we actually going to ask ourselves like, hey, hang on a second. Do I love a life? The answer is yes. Then why aren't I sacrificing for his sake? Why am I not doing that? Because the real issue with people is an iman issue, not the sexuality. If you are having sexual urges for the same sex, for the, for the same gender, that instead of acting upon them, ask yourselves, how can I strengthen my iman just a little bit more so that I'm not busy thinking about those urges and I'm focused on meeting my Lord? Because when I get to paradise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make everything halal for me. I hope this is making sense. I'm going to leave you with this, inshallah. I don't want this to get too long. You see, in Surah Al-A'raf, Musa Islam comes down from the mountain, okay, with the tablet. And when he comes down, and with the commandments, as we know, right, uh, with their first revelations, their actual set of documents for their own new nation, right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the Sharia for them. He came down with the Sharia for them, okay. Musa Islam comes down, he sees people worshipping a calf and all this craziness happening, right? And Musa Islam's first response is anger. He reacted. He reacted. The first response was he reacted. Okay. Then he grabs his brother Harun salam, by, the, by, by the beard, whatever, you know, and gets at him a little bit. Okay. Then Musa Islam, the Dai. Think about it. All of us are Dai's right now. Okay. I'm talking to you all because you all are Dai's. If you made it to, uh, like this far of the video, you're a Dai. Okay. MashaAllah. Then he did something after that. Once he calmed down a little bit, he sought Allah's forgiveness. He sought Allah's forgiveness and asked for his mercy. Now, pay attention to this. He had broken the tablet. Think about the revelation. Allah Azza wa Jal just gave him revelation. He gave him a sharia to bring to the people. And all of a sudden, Musa al-Islam breaks it. That's a big deal. That's a big, we don't even let the Quran touch the floor. We, we don't even put it next to our feet. Musa al-Islam broke the tablet. Think about it. Okay. So he does that. But then he picks it up. Once his reaction is over, then Musa al-Islam responds. Responds. He picks up the tablet, wipes it off, puts it all together, and seeks Allah's forgiveness. And then we know the story from there, so on and so forth. Okay? What I'm letting you know, and then he continues to ask for forgiveness for people and helps guide the people back to the straight path, okay? What I'm telling you right now is that when we hear of those who are homosexuals, the first thing in our heart is to get upset. The reason we get upset is because we have an immense love of Allah and His religion and His messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and just everything about it. We have an immense love, just like Musa Islam did. But once you're done reacting, dust yourself off and deal with the issue at hand. Deal with the issue at hand. You cannot scare people away from the deen. You cannot, nor are you supposed to water it down just so that they can accept it. You understand? You're not doing that. You have to respond. You wipe yourself off. Then you get to the bottom of the issue that what's the real problem? Why is such and such person doing these things? And then you, sh then you lead with empathy. And you understand, okay, I see your perspective and everything like that. Then you explain your perspective. Then you remind people of Allah. Then you help people develop a love of Allah. You understand? So if you're someone who's Catholic out there or Christian or Muslim or whatever, you have to understand something that the number one priority that you and I have is developing a love and consciousness of God. That's the number thing that we have to do. After that, yes, there's going to be things that God does not want you to do because it's harmful to you. Allah created you. He made you. He has the right to tell you what's good for you and what's bad for you. Simple as that. And if you love Allah, if you love your Creator, your Lord, you will uphold and adhere to those commands. It's as simple as that. And if you don't love Allah, if you are weak in your Iman, you're going to try to find loopholes to get out of those commands. But at the end of the day, you're going to meet Allah and He's going to judge you by the rubric that He sent down for you. And that rubric is the Quran and the Sunnah. Whether you like it or not, whether you admit it or not, whether you know it or not, that is the rubric that's going to be taking place. So if I was you, I'd start developing a connection and love of Allah and understand that you're not wrong for having these urges. You're not wrong. 
but you're wrong for acting upon them by putting your nafs first and Allah second. Switch that around. Prioritize your Rabb and make your desires that go against His commands an option. And Allah is going to open your doors. I appreciate you all. Thank you all for watching this. Check out some other videos right here. And I hope this uh, video made sense and uh, it helped you, anyone who's struggling out there. And maybe it gave you a new perspective, but don't sell out, bro. Don't sell out. You know, the standards are set by Allah Azza wa Jal. Meet those standards. If you can't meet those standards, help. Get some help to meet those standards. But don't lower the standards. That's never the solution. Love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, I'm out.